John, you're an expert on um, Dodd Frank, really that community banking space. Touch on that very briefly for community bankers on the line. Um, uh, we hear all sorts of stuff. There's only 40% that's been written. Give us your take on what's going on with Dodd Frank right now and how it affects our community banks. Well, we're about three years into Dodd Frank, and it's being implemented very slowly. Um, it, we're about 40% uh, of the way through. And uh, things that seem pretty simple to implement, like the Volcker rule, uh, aren't close to being implemented. So, you know, it's, there's been a lot of pressure from the industry. The industry has been successful at watering down some of the rules that are coming down. It still remains to be seen what it's all going to look like. But there definitely is a concerted effort by the banking agencies to minimize the regulatory uh, burden for community banks especially those under a billion in assets. You'll notice uh, every publication from the agencies now actually has a, a section where it asks about the applicability to banks under a billion in assets. So, you, Are you, on the community bank model, uh, are you optimistic about that model going forward or is it going to be severe challenges for uh, the local board of directors and management? I think there'll always be community banks that are exceptional. Uh, but I think there are certain trends that are not favorable to community banks. Uh, I think uh, consumers are becoming more internet savvy. They're using branches less. They're more about online banking and mobile banking. Yeah, I was going to hold up my phone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the community banks are typically uh, a little far behind the technology standpoint. Um, having said that, I don't think you need to be too large to be successful. In fact, the, um, the research we've seen is once you're over, say, a billion in assets, um, you know, you kind of peter out around five or six billion as far as the benefits of scale. So, a, a, you know, a five to ten billion dollar bank is just as efficient and can do just as well as any bank in the country. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this last question. What is the minimum level of asset size that you believe under the new regulations uh, that a community bank must have to be sustainable? I think it depends on the market. Um, you know, yeah. forget the rural markets for a second. Forget the, you know, fifty thousand MSAs. If you take a market like Los Angeles, Chicago, uh, markets like that, if you're under a billion it's going to be very hard to generate average to above average returns for your shareholders. You're going to be the well, exception, I, not the rule. But, but I, I think, I think that are good at SBA lending that have certain niches will always outperform. They're always going to be outliers, but you're going to be you know, going against the herd. Well, I think you've, you've made a couple of things that we'll just put on the table. Those that are exceptionally managed and those that perform well, they will, be, uh, the, the, they will have a place in the market. Um, I don't know if it's, if it's a culling of, of the lower end, but rich, riches and niches, if you're a proper manager and you do well in a niche, you'll be okay. Uh, John Winnick, President, Clark Street Capital out of Chicago. John, thank you for joining us. Great conversation. I enjoyed talking to you. Thanks, Bob.